Are you a sad individual living under a Parisian opera house and dropping chandeliers on people's heads for fun? Well, you may want to stop because that's a crime and get yourself a podcast. How do you do that? Easy. It's with Anchor. Anchor is a totally free app and website, and you can record from your phone or your computer. You don't need fancy smancy equipment. Seriously, I have recorded podcasts from my bathtub while I was bathing. Anchor is free and super easy to use. Anchor has really simple podcasting tools. You sign up and then you start podcasting. It really is that simple. Within an hour of starting my podcast, I was already distributed on Spotify. Now I'm on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Breaker, and Radio Public. So go look for the app or the website. The website is anchor.fm. And the app, just go to your friendly local app store and look up Anchor. That's A-N-C-H-O-R. Happy podcasting! Hello, my Hubie Fruits. This is Sarah from the Kawaii Slurdy Bart Fast podcast. And this is the first Nat Gallery review ever recorded on the podcast. Now, there may be one that comes before, that's published before this one. But this is the first recorded and i am very excited i received this book from that galley in exchange for an honest review all opinions on my own and i have not been paid for them thanks for listening on this episode of the podcast we are going to be discussing thou is fair by hannah capen now i wanted to make sure and read the content warning which came from the publisher, which is a thing that I am loving that publishers are doing, um, I think is very respectful and greatly appreciated because there are some times where you just, your brain won't let you handle things, but you can be in a place where you can enjoy it, just not at that moment. And if you have that warning, you can engage with the material more honestly. So here is the content warning from Wednesday Books. The primary thematic material of Phallus Fair centers on sexual assault, not depicted, rape culture, and violence. Additionally, the book includes an abusive relationship, a suicide attempt, and a brief scene with transphobic bullying. For a more detailed description of sensitive contact, please visit hannahcapen.com slash Phallus Fair. Have you ever read a book where you're reading it and it's so good that you get chills? And you kind of have to put the book down and let the chill roll down your spine. Yeah, that's this book. This book is incredible. And what I'm talking about is Foul is Fair by Hannah Capen. Um, It starts with a girl going to a high school party with her friends for her 16th birthday. And she ends up being gang raped. I tried to think of a nicer way to put that, but, uh, yeah, there's no way to put it besides being very blunt, because this book is very blunt about what happens. Like, it's not graphic, but it gives you enough detail to be horrifying, and the responses are not blunted. The anger and... The pure fury is nowhere blunted. And I think the books like this are desperately needed. And the unfortunate thing is I think that because of the content, people are not going to want to read it because it's going to make them uncomfortable. And this is a subject that should absolutely make people uncomfortable. People should have to sit with that discomfort. And kind of let it roll over the body like the chills roll down my spine. See, there are parallels everywhere. But anyway, so after L, that's the name that she starts with. Jade is her middle name. It gets out of the party. She plots with her friends to get revenge. And she's going to kill them all. And... There's one person that she picks out that she wants to suffer the most. The golden boy. And she wants to make him responsible for killing his friends. 
Oh, by the way, did I mention that this is a retelling of Macbeth by William Shakespeare? Might have left that out. And it's clever. It is so clever. Like, I really appreciate Capon's attention to the source detail, but not afraid to change things up to keep things from getting kind of bland. So, I've seen some reviews of this book that complain that the reader didn't feel that it was very realistic. That in one weekend, a girl could transfer to a school in an entirely different school district. And here's the thing. The book is a revenge fantasy. It's not really supposed to be realistic, even though it is based on reality, much the way Macbeth was based on- sorry, I almost said Hamlet for some reason. In, uh, I mean, same thing, like, both of them were actually based on history, but elaborated upon, you know, and that's how you tell a good story. Um, but I will say that there are things that are so- Let's see, I'm looking for a word that's, like, a step down from camp. Because when I think of camp, I think of things like Rocky Horror Picture Show, and that's not it. But extra, yes. Um, For instance, uh, not going to mention names, because a spoiler, there's a scene where two characters uh, attempt to fence to death, and that's ridiculous. No person would actually do that. I mean, it is very funny when you think about it, but the book treats it in a way that's serious and somehow it actually works. I'm not exactly sure how, like, a lot of the events hit so hit so many emotional beats when it's like, if you take it out of context, it's like that would never actually happen. And that's because this is a revenge fantasy. It's not entirely supposed to be realistic. Like, I don't think many people would hear about their child's rape and have her go, Oh, well, you know, I'm going to take care of them all and be like, mm, Okay, honey, that's great. And another thing is that... They, that probably sounded like I was complaining. I'm not complaining about it because I really enjoyed it. It's just, it's not supposed to be realistic. And I'm totally okay with that. Another thing that I found fascinating really quick, and then I'm going to end this because I feel like it's gone on long enough, is that Jade doesn't expect to go away, get away with it. Like, she does not expect to ride off into the sunset knowing that Justin, just, justice was done. Justin. Sure, Justin was done too. Whatever. Anyway, uh, she fully expects that she's going to get caught because she knows that society thinks that murder is wrong. But she doesn't. And her pain and suffering is what matters. And I find that so intriguing because so many times women are raised to be apologetic and you know sorry and it's not sorry at all she's gonna kill these guys and she just doesn't care about the end result as long as the end result is achieved and I thought that that was such an interesting way to take this character. And anyway, I really, really love this book. And if you're in the right headspace to read such a thing, I would definitely recommend it. Have a happy day and keep it fruity. Bye.